So let's continue our discussion in fluid mechanics under the topic hook tension. So in this video, we will solve the two sample problems in the handout. For the first problem, we have here a wooden storage vat, 20 feet inside diameter. So it has a 20 feet inside diameter filled with 24 feet of brine with specific gravity of 1.06. The wood staves are bound by flat steel bands 2 inches in wide by 1 fourth inch in thickness whose allowable stress is 16,000 PSI. So what is the bursting force or bursting pressure for letter A? B. What is the tensile force of steel bands? And letter C. What is the spacing of the bands near the bottom of the vat neglecting any initial stress? So, a wooden steel vat with 20 feet inside diameter. So, we have here the uh, wooden storage vat can be uh, seen as uh, this one. Okay. It's for storing uh, liquid. And in this example, we have the liquid as brine given the specific gravity of 1.06. Now, these wooden wood staves are bound by flat steel bands. So, as you can see from the picture, that flat steel bands are this, right? To, uh, to keep it in place. So, it serves as a belt. It serves as the belt of this, uh, is this uh, storage vat. So, the first question is, what is the bursting pressure? So, uh, it's asking for the pressure that could uh, destroy or ex uh, explode the storage vat. So it's asking for the pressure exerted by the liquid inside. So we can uh, draw that or represent that okay, this way. So force or pressure is presented as uniformly varying wherein at the bottom there is greater force or pressure whereas at the uh, at the surface it has letter, lesser uh, force and pressure okay. so this is our force okay. so the force here is f here we go this is force f now it's asking for the bursting pressure so what is the bursting pressure we will consider the total height here for the bursting pr pressure therefore pressure is located at the bottom of this uniformly varying load or this triangle so what is the formula now what is the formula for pressure pressure is equal to gamma of the liquid and in this case it's the gamma of the brine multiplied with the total height h so from the surface to the bottom and then you will now have the pressure here at the bottom. Okay, so what is the gamma of uh, brine? It is uh, the specific gravity of 1.06 multiplied with the standard unit weight of water. But as you can see, we are in the English system. So what is gamma of water in the English system? That is 62.4 pound per cubic feet or that is in pcf right that is in pcf next the height the total height that is 24 feet therefore pressure now is equal to this 1587.5 psf or pound per square Per foot, so that is in PSF. Okay, so that's for letter A. Now, for letter B, what is the tensile force of steel bands? So, what's the force exerted by the steel bands? So, we have the formula for tensile for the. Uh, What's given here? 
So we have there's already given an allowable stress. So for the flat steel bands. Second sentence. It says there the wood staves are bound by flat steel bands with uh, given the area. So this is the area of the steel bands. Where where can we find this steel bands again? It's this bands here. So these are the steel bands. And uh, this is uh, in our drawing. This is our steel bands there. And the dimension of this. The dimension of this is. What is two inches for the uh, height? and one fourth inch in thickness and given from the problem is the uh, gamma or the sigma allowable or the allowable stress for the flat bands and that is 16,000 psi what do we mean by PS psi that is 16,000 pound per square inch so what's the formula now for U for uh, so letter B Q is equal to the tensile stress at uh, the tensile force over the area remember that when we talk about stress it is the force over the area now in this case in our on this uh, uh, problem letter B it's looking for the tensile stress or tensile force so this is it cell force of these steel bands. Now, given the stress, the allowable stress, as uh, 16,000 in pound per square inch, we have the tension here all over the dimension is 2 inch by 4 inches. 2 inches by 4 inches. So the value 40 now is, so we will cancel out inches, then tension is now equal to, so that is, oh, no, it's not 4 inches, it's not 4, it's 1 fourth, sorry, it should be 1 fourth, 1 fourth inch, therefore tension is now equal to, 8,000 pounds. Now for letter C, it says there, what is the spacing of the bands near the bottom of the bat, neglecting any initial stress? So it's looking for the spacing of the, the, the uh, bands near the bottom of the bat. So spacing of this. Right? So if we put... Uh, another steel band here another steel band there so what's the spacing between this the bottom and the next uh, steel band so let's solve that there we go this is our uh, our container the storage but split in uh, half in uh, lengthwise okay. split in half lengthwise and then you have the bands here right the bands okay. and then uh, if we put another band here so it's asking if there is another band just above the bottom so what's the spacing so what is the spacing now if there is another band so what is this S right now if we get the slower portion here we cut this lower portion we'll have uh, this 
is drawing okay. and this is our steel band the color blue and in this steel band we will have the tension force so we will have the tension force here will become half of the tension right so if we cut there so there will be half of the tension so one half tension here one half tension there one half tension one half tension and then you have the force of water going inside that is F so if we visualize it that portion that section this is our uh, F. This is F. Okay, so this is the projected area. Okay. And then, therefore, the total tension. Total tension. So, 1 half plus 1 half equals T. Therefore, our summation of forces our summation of forces horizontal is equal to 0 and F now is equal to twice of T okay. so twice of uh, the tension and force is equal to pressure times area right? because uh, pressure is equal to force over area therefore force is equal to pressure times the area so that is equal to 2T then we have the value for pressure is uh, 1587.5 so this is 1587.5 then the area so what is the area the, er the projected area here okay, the projected area so what's the height here now the height here is the spacing s s spacing how about this uh, diameter what's the diameter again so, is there 20 feet inside diameter so 20 feet inside diameter so the area now is equal to 20 feet uh, you should put the units pound per square feet the uh, area of uh, 20 feet times the spacing is equal to 2 times the tension which is 80, uh, 8,000 8,000 pounds so what will happen now here is that the pounds here will be cancelled the feet will be cancelled therefore we have 8,000 over 20 times 1587.5 Oh, times 2 2 times so that will be 0 0.504 so 0 0.504 uh, foot or that is 6.05 inch because uh, one, one uh, foot is equal to 12 inches so what will happen here is 0.504 times 12 so 6.05 inch inches so that's for the spacing okay, so that's example number one okay, let's go to example number two a cylindrical tank 5 meters in diameter and 10 meters high contains liquids A, B, and C. 
the specific gravity are 0 0.8, 1.03, and 2.76 respectively. The tank is provided with steel hoops at the bottom and at the top. Determine the total force acting on the wall of the tank. B. The tension of the hoop at the bottom and C. Determine the tension of the hoop at the top. Okay. So we have here the cylindrical tank which is 5 meters in diameter and 10 meters in height. Okay. So we will determine the first is determine the total force. Can you see that this tank contains different liquids and take note the denser the liquid it goes to the bottom. The denser liquid goes to the bottom and the less dense liquid goes to the top. Okay, so we're, uh, we are encountering here different kinds of liquid contained in one container. So first we will solve for the total force acting on the wall of the tank. So, okay. so uh, we will uh, divide it into three layers, and uh, each layer represents the liquid and then we will now compute here what is okay. Okay. so let's uh, have the pressure first of the first liquid here at the top this is the P1 so let's compute for P1 so for letter A so pressure is equal to gamma H gamma of uh, so P1 contains a specific gravity of 0.8 times 9.81 then the height is 3 meters that is equal to 23.54 kilopascal. Next, we need to find the pressure of the second liquid. Say, uh, so say this is the first liquid and then for the second liquid. There we go. For the second liquid, it has much greater pressure because we need to add the pressure that it is receiving from the top liquid. So this is P2 and then this is P1. Zero three, 9.81 times the height of this liquid is 4 meters 4 meters so that is 40.42 kilo pascal next let's have the third liquid the pressure for the third liquid This is P3. So P3 now is equal to the, the specific gravity 2.76 times 9.81 times the height of 3. And that is equal to 81.23. Pascal. Okay. Now the question for letter A is the force, the total force. 
So we need to find now the total pores. So here are the forces. This is the force one. This is the force number two. So force at the bottom, at the the middle. Because we are uh, dealing with rectangular here. And then, since we are dealing with triangular here and here and here, the location of the forces is one-third from its bottom. Force 1 is equal to this one here, that is 1 half. Now, the formula for force again is the formula for force, that is pressure times the area, right? Or the, uh, um, it's like getting the volume of this one here, it's because if we uh, look it in 3D, So, this is the force. So, it's a prism. Okay? So, that's why we need to get the volume of this prism. is equal to so force is PA so force 1 is equal to uh, the P of 1 is 23.54 uh, kilonewton per meter squared times 1 half the base its base is following the volume of the prism a while ago. So the volume of this prism is one half of the base of the triangle which is P1. Right? So P1 here is 23.54 kilonewton per meter squared and then the area the projected area here so that is 3 meter Three meters by five meters. And that is equal to 176.55 kilonewton. Then we have F2. F2 is, so this is the F2. F2. So we have a rectangular prism. Rectangular prism is the, the, the base P1. So our P1 here is 23.54 kilonewton per square meter the height of 4 meters and the diameter of 5 and that is equal to 470.8 kilonewton force 3 the force 3 here is the again the, rectang the triangular prism so one half of P2, so our P2 is 40.42 times the height, the height of 4 meters and the diameter. So what's the value for F3? F3 is 404.2.
we have F4, F4, and we're dealing with rectangular prism. So rectangular prism, which is the base P1 plus P2. So our P1 is 23.54 plus P2 of 40.42 times the height. The height here is 3 meters and the diameter. So that is equal to 959.4 kilonewton. Then last is force 5. We're dealing with triangular prism. So F5 is equal to one half of the base which is P3. Our P3 is 81.23 times the height, the height of 3 meters, then the diameter of 5. And that is equal to 609.225 kilonewton. So if we total this, that will be the force total. And that is 2620.225 kilo newton so this is the the uh, total force acting on the wall let's go to letter b so what is being asked in letter b it says there tension of the hook at the bottom so the hook here at the bottom and then later on, it's looking for the tension at the top. So there, tension, tension. So how do we determine it now? We will need the free body diagram for that. So this is... We don't know yet. Where is the location of this force? So this is the... So remember, what is uh, the tension here? It's not just T. No, it's not. It's twice of tension 1 this is twice of tension 1 this is twice of tension 2 or the bottom tension and this is the total force okay now uh, how do we uh, determine that so the reason why it becomes 2 twice of uh, t1 is because we are going to consider here the top so the top here as one tension and then tension, tension. Okay. therefore it becomes two tension when you look at it on the side it becomes two tension right You will cut here the uh, when you cut the container here. So there, yeah. You cut it. Right. So when you cut it like that, therefore the bands here at the top and the bands at the bottom will happen there so we have here tension tension and another tension here another tension there that's why it's twice tension at the top and twice tension at the bottom okay. so to find the value of ft 
we need to make some mention of forces uh, when we're looking for uh, no, when we're looking for t1 i should say t1 we need to make some mention of forces here at the bottom right if we need to find the value for t2 we need to make some mention of forces at the top okay therefore we need to find here the value for Bar y. So there, to find that bar y. So to find that bar y, we need to find the the values here for y1, y2, y3, y4, and y5. So y1 y2 y3 y4 and then y5 so to find the y1 that is y1 is two thirds of three yeah, two thirds of three for y2 that will be uh it will be one half of four one half of four plus three right so y2 is one half of four plus three for y3 uh, for y3 we have here three plus so we're dealing with triangles here so two-thirds of four so two-thirds of four here then for y4 we have here the 3 plus 4 okay, so 3 plus 4 plus so since we're dealing with rectangular so plus 1 half of 3 right one half. Okay, now lastly we have y5 y5 is 3 plus 4 plus since we're dealing with triangle is 2 thirds of 3 okay, so let's write them here for y1, we have 2 thirds of 3. That is equal to 2 meters. y2, that is 1 half of 4 plus 3. That is 5 meters. y3 is equal to 2 thirds of 4 plus 3. And that is 5.67. y4 is one half of three plus four plus three and that that is eight point five meters and lastly y5 that is three plus four plus two thirds of three that is equal to nine meters now we can now have here the summation of forces here at the bottom summation of forces at the bottom what will happen so summation forces uh, summation of moment right? moment at the bottom at uh, the bottom is equal to zero so we have here the uh, f total times bar y equals f1 y1 ah okay ah i see so if we are going to make summation not at the bottom sorry it should be at the top because this is our reference line right we made a reference uh, line here at the top so let's uh, summation of forces at the top and get the value for y bar here y bar is y bar is 10 minus yeah, 10 minus this one here. so this is equal to 10 minus y bar okay. so 
or the F total. This is 10 minus y bar. That is equal to F1, Y1, plus F2, Y2, plus F3, Y3, plus F4, Y4, and then F5, Y5. Now, F total is 2, 6, 2, 6, 20, 0.175 times 10 minus y bar that is equal to f1 176.55 times 2 f2 is 470.8 times 5 plus f3 is 404.2 times 5.67 Plus F4 is 959.4 times 8.5 meters. Plus Y5 or F5 is 609.225 times 9 meters. Therefore, what is Y? divided by so so answer divided by 2620.175 7.11 and that is 10 minus this one 10 minus the answer so 10 minus the answer that is 2. Point 887 or 2.89 so this is 2.89 right summation of forces I uh, mean moment now summation of moment at B is equal to 0 so we have here ah wait we're looking for B is tension at the bottom okay so if we're looking for the hoop, so tension at the bottom, we make a summation at the top, right? So we need to make summation of moment, summation of moment at the top equals zero. So that is two tension two. This is the tension at the bottom, right? So that is a equal to or minus 2620.175 times there 2620 times this 10, 10 minus y bar 10 minus 2.89 and that is equal to 0 distance okay okay we forgot so this is just the force right we forgot to put the distance so twice of tension 2 what's the distance so what's its distance from the bottom that is 10 meters okay. so the t2 is 10 meters okay. 
10 meters from there. So, times 10. Okay. Therefore, this is divided by 20. 931.47 That is equal to T2 is 931.47 kilo newton. Where how about the uh, tension at the top? We need to make summation of moment here at B. Bottom. The bottom. So twice of uh, tension at the top times 10 meters distance minus 2620.175 and what is the distance of uh, this total force from the bottom from the bottom that is y bar so y bar is uh, 2.89 here we go that is equal to zero so tension at the top is now equal to 378.615.615 kilo newton. Okay. So that's for letter C and that's the total or that's the N for example number two. Okay, screenshot. So that's all for this video.